Howdy y'all, Taylor Howdy. Gaming, oops, Taylor Gaming 2020 coming back at you with another episode of Minecraft. We actually have a false start today, believe it or not. I accidentally, uh, had a failed recording. So that's always fun, isn't it? Well, anyway, today's episode plan is to work on a nether hub, link the village to the hub, and create easy access to the bastion and fortress. Pretty basic stuff. So let's get let's get into it. For today's project, I'm probably just gonna need this kind of stuff. And you're probably gonna want to have some blast resistant blocks. There we go. That's a lot better. I can actually hear now. <laughs> well, anyway, you're gonna want block, all the blast resistant blocks you can carry. At least a decent chunk. I shouldn't need a lot of bucket. Well, anyway, I've already done the calculations for the portals and all that. So let me go over this stuff real quick. So generally, the first thing you want to do when working in an area is make sure your portals are aligned properly. In order to do that, I probably should do this in the middle, sorry. And to do that, all we gotta do is check the coordinates of portal, say so this was 257 by 42, or made it 257. So in order to uh, link it properly, I'll have to divide both those coordinates by 8. So I want to go to negative 32 and positive 5. But I prefer to make nether hubs closer to the top of this ceiling of the nether. So we're going to dig a little tunnel inwards in the pit. Well, uh, try not to break all every unnecessary block. I'm gonna, I like to build these on the roof of the world, generally speaking, just because. I find that it just works the best for what I'm using it for. I'm not going to put it on the nether roof, mostly just because I don't want to do that. Not that kind of project. Did you guys see that? My game just bugged out. I go crazy. <laughs> all right, we're, I'm trying to get all the way up to Y. To Y115. The Y does not matter when you build your portals, so don't worry about that. Let's 
probably way more than I'm gonna use. That's not good. scary guys. <laughs> I've already mentioned that plenty of times, but I still don't like the nether. Alright, here's the nether room. So now we're going to make sure we're at 115. We're currently at 119. Alright, now we're at 115. So the coordinates I want for this first portal is negative 32 and 5. down here up. So I'll just cut ahead until when I get it when I deconstruct it all the way. Yeah I'll see you guys in a minute. One portal collected later. Now we can light this baby and test it. I'll test the return trip. Return trip in just a sec. Let's get some Z's in. Alright, now let's see if it puts us back out. Alright, we're not. I couldn't hear the music as being weird. Now let's see if it puts us back at the top. And it does. to go to the village. Actually, wait. Hold up. Be smart. Take a screenshot. 
That'll be very important later. Don't let I'm not gonna forget about that. Sorry for all the portal noises. And now we're gonna head towards the village. I shouldn't need the map because all I gotta do is pretty much just follow the coastline. It's not too difficult to find. A little bit of a, a boat ride though, so I'll probably just cut ahead over there. See you in a bit. Alrighty, we have arrived. We are at the little village. Pretty sure everybody should be coming. Yep. Alright, as you can see, I've already went, up, went ahead and built the portal. That was part, that was because of the fit. The recording, the failed recording. And you'll see that this is not a very good location. So just like last time, I'm gonna correct the portal. I already have the coordinates saved, so... I'm just gonna pick up the portal and I'll meet you up at the top. After I get the location set. Found the, found the location, it's gonna be right here. This is where I'm gonna go to the portal. Didn't we just hear the song? Just what we did. Assuming my calculations are correct, this should be what we're looking for, right here. You, you also, you don't have to make nether portal, it's the sizes I've been going. You can make them fairly large. Fun part, guys. <laughs> oh my word! I'm gonna have to dig all the way back to the other portal, which is at negative 32 and four. So I'm just gonna probably time lapse this bit. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Ah. See you guys in a bit. Bye. Alrighty guys, I dug right back into the other portal area. It's actually not that far away, believe it or not. I mean the hallway's not insanely long, I should say. Maybe this is about the length the full length of the hall. I'm not gonna say it's not a walk, but it's not like so far away that it's a problem. being able to try and dig this out a little bit more. So hopefully it's not so cramping all the time. This one of my 
first priorities. I kinda just wanna do what I did with that other portal. Make it a 5 by 4 Make it a 3 by 3 portal instead. about falling from the nether roof too much up here as long as they're more than kind of 10 blocks but it can still open up all the way up to bedrock I, I do believe but it's not it's like very rare it does happen so you're crack you're pretty much safe from doing this Try and open up this place a little bit more. It sounds like the right way to go here. Certainly gonna lose to all these levels. That'll make me sad. Still in the nether, you still do gotta look at the brand new lava spots that still have to do. a baseline established. Pick up all these quartz. Quartz gives you a lot of levels, by the way. And now we got pretty much a straight shot between both portals, which is always nice. But here's something I'm going to want to do. This, this one's gonna have to stay, it's annoying. See on the spot, that'll work. Oh, 
this isn't a very long nether hall, so I don't have to worry about it too much. But I do care about the aesthetics and stuff, so I'm gonna... We're gonna aim to spawn proof this entire place, so I'm gonna return. All those in slabs. Yeah, as you can see, stuff's already spawned. I would not advise you to do this. Fighting them, you guys, can be very deadly. You're not prepared for it. There's a handful of different ways you can spawn pro things in this game. The easiest and most simple one to do is just do bottom half, half bottom half of half slabs. Say, for example, the bottom half of these blocks. You don't want to put them like that. They can spawn on top of this, but not on these. Hopefully that makes sense. Well, anyway, I'm gonna just cut ahead till I get them all in place. In a bit. Alrighty, guys. Floor's in place. No mobs can spawn in here, and I've decided that I want to go for... I want to make it look like this place is being supported. So we're gonna do... Oops. Try and set it up so every five blocks. Not bad. Hey! Every five blocks will do a dark oak pillar in the wall. I'll see if, how much I really like that after the fact, so, again, I've been saying this a lot this episode, haven't I? I'll see you guys in a bit, I'm sorry, <laughs> you know, I'll just do a fast forward for this one, maybe. a whole bunch of dark oak. I, just, I honestly still don't know if this is enough. But we're sure as hell gonna try it, right? I might just leave me in, leave in just me finishing this a little bit. Uh, oh, we go. Well, about an hour. A lot of that's gonna get cut out, to be fair. Corner. 
because I'm pretty sure the path actually is supposed to keep going down this way. Because I, I still gotta link up the nether hub yet. Well, not the nether hub, the um, uh... I still gotta link up the fortress and the bastion. Curious. The reason why I'm placing all these nether blocks is just to help me count stuff out. Um, if I can't see a, like a roller on screen or something, like you can't turn it, then it's hard to measure these things. So I usually just block an easy to break block down. Most of the time it's going to be nether right. Question of the day, guys. Do you guys. <clears throat> Sorry. Comment question of the day. Do you guys uh, build net. Do you guys like building nether hubs? Or do you even use them at all? I think they're handy to have. But I also like to build actual paths to my builds on the overworld, too. Just to tie the world together a little bit more, you know? I mean, nether hubs. Mo I mostly just make them for convenience. So really the main reason why I make these things at all. So yeah, that's a whole slew of things. I'm sorry if this episode isn't super entertaining. You can at least survive with me. Otherwise. I don't know if I've discussed nether quartz yet. If I have, it, it's probably very brief. But anyway, nether quartz is mostly a decorative type thing, but it's used in a lot of redstone components. Which, trust me, I will be making it. This is technically new ore. Or, well, new ish. Dang, this is a big thing. This thing. We're still not even done. So it goes. <laughs> Guys, how are you seeing this? 
it. There's so much in there, I gotta go back for more netherrack. <laughs> it's not even a whole stack of netherrack to cover it. It's a lot of netherrack. <laughs> Sometimes it's ridiculous. Quartz vein aside. Yeah, that's all. design of this I think I'm gonna cut back the wall by one
There we go. I know this is a basic design thus far. But I, I, I got a cool, or at least a semi-cool idea of what to do with the other walls. This will be a lot of work, so I might do most of this stuff off camera. Probably finish up uh, make quicker shortcuts to the uh, fortress and stuff off camera. It's it's practically a straight shoot from here anyway. It's just about me finding a spot to put it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like up if you like the video. Like up if you like the video. Ring the notification bell if you want more videos just like this one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.